Here to order along the Cassin High School for tonight's HNAC conference matchup between the visitors, the North Judson San Pierre Lady Blue Jays, and the home team, your Caston Lady Comets. Let's meet the starters. First All the right, team, well, let's uh, get underway with some starting lineups. Uh, for the visiting Lady Jays, we've got number 10, Kylie Lehigh, number 11, Kaylin Tunis, number 15, Ava Ree Johnston, number 24, Reagan Hensley, and number 30, McKinley Duchette. The Lady Jays are coming into tonight's match with a 6-3 and three record. And of course, our hometown Lady Comets will be starting number four, Macy Hinderleiter. Number 11, Isabel Scales. Number 12, Alexa Finke. Number 13, Addison Zimpleman. And number 22, Addie Douglas. The Lady Comets are coming into tonight with an 8-0 record, ranked number three according to Max Preps. And of course, they're coached by Josh Douglas, who will be joining us for a post-game wrap-up at the end of the night's game. Well, any further predictions on tonight's game, Pete? Uh, I don't really have, don't have much knowledge of the Blue Lady Blue Jays. I know how the uh, Lady Comets have been playing. Um, seeing the lineups here, a lot younger team from North Judson than we got from the Lady Comets. Obviously with four seniors for the Lady Comets, a lot of experience playing together. Yeah, and that experience, that, that synergy can really make a huge difference out there on the court. And the tip goes to the Lady Comets. Hinderleiter quickly down there. Can't get the shot to fall. It's going to go out of bounds off of Macy Hinderleiter as she tries to go for her own rebound. Full court press to start. Maddie Douglas knocks it out of bounds. Had an opportunity to talk to some of the North Judson fans here sitting by us. And they said that this opening series might well set the tone for their ladies for the whole evening, so. Well, they got it across half court. court. Dusek drives. Now Hensley. Dusek, Hensley, cross court. Tunis into the paint. They're gonna call that foul there on Maddie. That'll be her first, her first, team first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Tunis at the line to shoot two. First one off the mark. Interesting shot position there, but it does allow her to be Pass the first on quickly the board. down court. Maddie Douglas puts it in for two. Great, great pass by Isabel Scales. Huge pass ahead to break that press. Lady Jay's really breaking the press pretty quickly. Shot up, off the mark. Tunis couldn't get it in. Comments with the rebound. Scales, shot fake, drives. She goes all the way. She'll draw the foul. I believe that was on number 24, Reagan Hensley. Her first, team first. Foul number 24, Reagan Hensley. Her first, team first. Scales at the line with two shots. Nothing but net on that first shot.
Second one's off the mark. Dusek comes down with the rebound. Now Tunis. She'll drive. She'll lay it up off the mark. Macy Henderleiter with the rebound. A lot of contact there on that shot. A little surprised there was no foul called. Nice crossover there by Hinderleiter. Shot off the mark though. Scales is going to go over the back. Lehigh to end by the end bound the ball. Lady Comets keeping on this full court press. And that forces the turnover. Zimpleman for two. Lady Comets are going to need that. As the Lady Jays break the press. Shot up off the mark. Loose ball. Wild shot put back up. And then we're going to get a foul here. Johnston's going to draw the foul. Foul here on Hinderleiter, her first, team third. Kasten quickly running to putting Judson in the bonus for the first quarter. First one's in and out. That could be a big factor here. Two, two minutes gone, not even two minutes gone in the first. Johnson goes one for two. Scales directing the Lady Comets offense. Working against Lehigh now. Now it's Finky. She'll kick to Douglas. Douglas will drive. She'll put it up. Looks like it got blocked. Now Zippelman puts it up. And she'll get the and one. Foul so there on number 30, McKinley Dushek. Her first. Team second. Free throw doesn't fall. Lady Jays will bring it up. Lehigh to Johnston. Bit of a crazy pass there. Three Tunis. point bucket up. Henderlight is going to be down there fighting for it. Be a jump ball. Lady jump ball Jays with possession. Jays possession. Long time on the inbound. Shot up. Bouncing around. Scales will come down with it. Moving down the floor quick. She'll hand it off to Hinderleiter. Lady J is playing a tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Similar to the Lady Comets. Scales looking, she'll drive, kick. Be knocked out of bounds off of the Lady Jays. Very close to being a turnover there. I kind of thought Douglas knocked it out of the Lady Jays player hand. Now Zimpleman working. A little 2-3 zone here by the Lady Lady Blue Jays. Scales. Forces an extension of that zone. Zumbleman, far wing. Cross court past the Harsh. She'll drive. Pass knocked out of bounds off of Johnston's foot. We have number three, Anna Garbison, checking in for the Lady Jays. Zimpleman for three, just off the mark. Lady wow. Jays with that rebound. Garbison got the rebound. Now Tunis will have it. She'll drive, shot up. Rolls in, out, and back in. 
Yeah, you want to talk about the shooter's role there. Half of the first has elapsed. Casting with a three-point lead. Douglas past the scales. Scales drives. Kicks back out to Douglas. Douglas for three. Off the mark. Scales with the rebound, though. She'll put it up for two. And she'll put it in. Scales gets beat. Now Tunis puts that one in for two. Coach Douglas is going to take a timeout here. 30 second timeout. Not happy with how the girls are defending right now. Yeah, the Lady Blue Jays doing an admirable job. Admirable job. Good grief. Words are hard, Pete. Against that Lady Comets pressure, uh, they've been able to break it, get down court, uh, and then the Lady Comets just really haven't been able to force the turnovers down at the Lady Jays into the floor the way they have in games past that we've seen. No, and any time uh, the Lady Comets look like they might stop the Lady Blue Jays, it seems like they uh, get a foul. Yeah, they now they have cleaned up their fouling here in the last couple of minutes, but still three team fouls with just under half of the quarter to play. Zimpleman going to work the offense for the Lady Comets. Scales, far side. Zimpleman, harsh. Thought about it. She'll give it to Douglas. Douglas will drive. Looked like she may have traveled there. Didn't get called. Skip pass into the paint to Zimpleman. Zimpleman will put that one in for two. Great ball movement there by the Lady Comets to get that open shot. Zimpleman, wow, saves that and gives it to Douglas to put in. That was just great hustle there. Now Scales going in hard. Surprised there wasn't a foul called there. Douglas gets a hand on that pass. Lady Jay's really struggling now. See if they can reset. We're going to get a timeout by the Lady Blue Jays. And they're going to take a 30. Timeout by the Lady Jays, a 30 second timeout. Coach Douglas must have had those ladies fired up. Came out really aggressive there. Threatened them with laps, probably, or lines. Well, from my experience, lines are worse than laps, so. I'm a runner, so all of it's kind of like, okay, we're running. Yeah, but you're weird. Well, that's accurate. Lady Blue Jays will take it out of the timeout. Johnston will run point. Now Tunis. Garbinson. Down in the Lehigh. Kicks it back Tunis. out. Three just off the mark. Lady Comets will rebound. Harsh struggling. Lady J is really putting on some pressure. Now she Harsh turns the ball over. Shot up off the mark. Loose ball. It's going to be out of bounds off of the Lady Jays. Tell you what, whatever these coaches are saying in the huddle seems to be working. Yeah. The Lady Jays pressure off of that rebound really put the Lady Comets into a panic. Lady Comets really moving the ball around. Great ball movement there. Does get stolen out of the hands of Olivia Thomas underneath, though. Great behind the back dribble there. Now Garbison cross court to Tunis. Tunis will take a dribble, put it up for two. Both of these offenses really moving the ball to get open looks. Douglas, top of the key. She'll drive, put up a Wild underhand shot. Gonna be out of bounds off of the Blue Jays though. 
Hinderleiter back in for the Comets, and I think it was Burkett came in for the Jays. Minix. Fair enough, Minix. Scales with the two. Full foot jump shot falls. Now Lehigh. Minix can't hold on to that one. Lady Comets will bring it up with a minute to go in the first. 15 to 8. Hinderleiter, Harsh, Zempelman. Pass way high. I don't know if Zach Eady could have caught that one. Yeah, that was that was nearly to the third row of the bleachers. Lady Jays quickly break the press. Now Garvinson's going to have it in the corner. Wow, how did she keep a hold of that? She's going to draw a foul. Foul there on Olivia Thomas. Her first, team fourth. That could have went one or two ways. Could have been a jump ball or a foul. First ball up and good for Tunis. She's now two for three from the line tonight. Next Lady Comets foul will put the Lady Jays into the bonus. In and out on that second shot. Wild pass. Lehigh gets the rebound and now Scales. Scales is going to get Tunis to Fowler as she drove down the base sideline. To our sideline. Tunis is first. Team's third. Harsh, top of the key. Zimpleman, far wing. 20 She'll seconds left drive, in the corner. Kick baseline. That's going to be out of bounds. Couldn't get it wrapped around the baseline just enough. Imagine Coach Douglas is going to be talking turnovers at the quarter break. They try to keep it to single digits, and they've already got five of that. Lady Jays breaking the press. We're going to get a foul here on Annie Harsh as she runs into Minix. And that will put Minix on the line for two. Foul number 25, Annie Harsh, her first team fifth. Gracie Minix at the line with two shots. First one up and off the left iron. You know, that may have not been a bad foul by Annie Harsh. It was her first foul. Yeah, put Minix at the line, but now the Lady Comets have a chance for a last shot of the quarter. Second one will drop. Brings Skip. North Judson in double-digit score. Scales will bring it up. Five to go. Harsh. Scales, corner, three. Oh, just off the mark. A little bit long. Well, at the end of one, it's Comets 15, Blue Jays 10. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comets with a five-point lead going into the second quarter. They will have possession to start the second. Fifteen to ten to start the second. With a one three one defense front here from the Lady Jays. Hinderleiter. Corner three again for Scales. This that one will fall. Three point field goal. Isabel Scales. Lady Comets still pressing. Now Tunis will drive. She'll lose the control of it. Now Douglas will get it and give it to Zempelman. Scales. I'm sorry to say, there's got to be a foul on that shot. Who are they putting it on? Foul there on number 15, Avery Johnston. Her first. Team first. First one good. Yeah. 
Second one off the mark. Lehigh with the rebound. Douglas is going to gain control of that as she comes from behind. Hinder lighter, corner, cross court pass. Now scales deep three. That one's in. Wow. Zumpelman aggressive, looking for the steal. Up Tunis. Lady Comets really aggressive right now. Zumpelman gets a hand on that one. Lehigh passes it to Douglas. Quick three turnovers with not even a minute and a half gone for the Lady Jays. Lady Comets missed a wide open Isabel Scales for another three. Zimpleman's got it. She'll kick to Hinderleiter. Scales. Pass tipped. She tried to lob it across court to Zimpleman. Now is going to go across. Get a hand on that one and knock it out of bounds. Lady J's, or yeah, Lady J's fans looking for a foul call on that. But there was a lot of contact there. Was, well, I'll tell you what, though, the ref was right there. So if there was a foul... He would have seen it. Deep inbound. Ender Leiter almost steals that, but they're going to tie up with it. And loose ball. <laughs> Zimmerman. There's so many calls that could have been made right there. There's, there's a lot that happened right there. I mean, as much as Zimmerman was sliding, I'm almost surprised they didn't just call her with a travel. Well, I almost thought that uh, Burkett touched that as it went out of bounds, but hey. It all evened out in the end, right? Could have been a travel, could have been a, you know. Three off the mark, couldn't get the shooter's roll. I feel like that was just one of those, you know, penalties offset. We don't get to replay it here, sadly. Douglas tries to knock it out of bounds off of We're gonna have a Lady Jays. Jump ball called, Lady Jays will benefit from it. Lady J is doing a really good job defensively to get the Lady Comets trapped in a corner or get a hand on one of those cross-court passes. Harsh back in for the Lady Comets. Burkett for three off the mark. It's going to be out of bounds off of Minix as Finky knocks it off of her foot. Now Scales will bring it up. Harsh, far side. Pinky up top. Pass down into the post of Henderleiter. Oh. Can't get that one to roll. She'll get her own rebound though. Pull that one out. Now Zempelman for three. Just off the mark. Scales use the hands on that pass. Johnston will bring it all the way down, though. Oh, and they're going to call a charge. Zimpleman doing a really good job of falling with that little bit of a shove that Johnston gave her. I really think that was more of a situation of Johnston was losing her balance off the momentum, and Zimpleman was able to sell it a little bit. I wasn't going to say that, but I was saying that. It's all right. Everybody does it, let's be honest. Yeah, speaking of, I just saw Jesse Rockwolf in the crowd, and he was great at selling a... Scales working down low. She can't get it to fall. Lady J's come up with it. Tunis. Spin. Shot up. Off the mark. Harsh with the rebound. Thought Harsh may have jumped there. Now Scales working against the double team. She'll break it. She'll drive all the way down. She'll get that one to roll in. 24 to 10 with half the second quarter gone here. Hensley, she'll sure. take one too many steps before putting the ball on the ground. Isabel Scales will take her first break of the night. Oh, 
in their lighter to Harsh, to Douglas. Douglas drives, left-handed layup off the mark. Burkett's gonna get it. She'll bring it down quick. She'll dribble it into Maddie Douglas's arms. We're gonna get a block foul here on number 24, Reagan Hensley. That'll be her second, team third. Looks like the second quarter is the Lady J's quarter to rack up a bunch of fouls. Lady Commons playing this quarter clean so far with no fouls on the board. Well, now they're going to rack up four here in the last three yeah, minutes. Yeah, you know, commentators curse. Henderlider working. She'll give it to Douglas. Henderlider, Zippelman. Thomas sets a screen. Lady Commons really working the offense. Deep two by Zippelman. That one will fall. Tunis bringing it up. Corner. High elbow. Now corner. High elbow. Douglas gets a hand on that pass. Lady J's drive. Puts it up and she'll draw a foul. Yep, there's that curse. Foul on Olivia Thomas, her second, team first. Such a crazy shot that Tunis has there, the way she fires it clear off the shoulder. Whatever works for you. She went two for two, so evidently it does. I can't judge anybody's free throws because I was never good at them. Nah, I wasn't great at basketball to begin with. So instead you took to the mats so you could hurt people. No. Nice pass out to Zimpleman. Shot off the mark, though. Put a little bit too much on that one. Lady Jays. Surprised she didn't get called for a dri double dribble there. Scales is going to foul McKinley Dusick. And that'll be her second, team second. Foul on number one, Isabel Scales, her second, team second. Tunis drives, now Lehigh, Tunis. Lady J's really working the ball across the court. Zumpleman tries to take another charge there. No buyers for that one. Triple team on the baseline. Douglas. Douglas. Yeah, Douglas nearly got a hold of that. A little bit too low as it goes out off of her foot. Still broke up the play though. Lob pass into Tunis. She'll spin, drive, kick. Cross court pass. Zeppelin just missed that steal. Lady J's really burning some clock here. Now Zeppelin will get a hold of that lazy pass. She'll put that one in left handed. Nothing like taking a steal coast to coast. It's even more impressive when you do it with your non-dominant hand. Tunis drives, can't get that to fall. Zeppelin bringing, bringing it up quick. Scales, kicks out to Douglas. Douglas for three, off the mark. One minute left in the half. Lehigh, top of the key. Off the mark, Dusik couldn't get that one to fall, but she'll get her own rebound and put it in for two. Harsh, far side, 30 to go. Douglas drives a little underhand left hand, couldn't get it to fall. Lady Jays. 
Bringing it back. Garbinson. Cross court pass. Lehigh down low, can't get it to fall. Thomas with the rebound. She'll kick it to Scales. Scales gonna bring it down quick with 10 to go, five. Left-handed layup by Zempelman, good. And at the... They're gonna say it went in. Got it off before the buzzer. That was a wow. laser. Lasered that one in. Wow. Well, there you go. So at the half, it's cast in 30, North Judson 17. We'll be back after a few words from our sponsors with a first half wrap up. This is Lady Comets Basketball on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we enter the third. The Lady Comets come out of the locker room with possession, and we're underway. Lady Jays coming out with a very aggressive defense starting the second half. Yeah, they almost stole that first pass there by Zempelman. Timeout here by Coach Douglas. Timeout by the Lady Comets, a full timeout. All right, well, with them taking a full timeout, we're going to step away and thank our sponsors. Come back for Lady Comets basketball here on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Not quite 30 seconds gone before Coach Douglas takes that timeout. Imagine he saw something, some adjustment that he wanted to make in response to this tight Lady Jays defense. Douglas drives. He'll get her own rebound, put it up. Loose ball. Lady Jays come out with it. Lehigh, near side, cross court. Hensley thought about it. Now Johnston will drive. Zimpleman will get right in front of that pass. She's going to look to take it all the way herself. Gets stripped underneath the basket, goes out of bounds. One of the Lady Jays got her hand on it, knocked it off of Zimpleman. Lady Comets really playing aggressive with their defense. Hensley for three, just off the mark. A lot of bodies go up for it and it'll be out off of the Blue Jays. Blue Jays with a full court press to start this half. Henderleiter thought about giving it to Finky, but she pulled it out. She'll lose control of it, and Lehigh will steal it. And it will be out off of Henderleiter as she tries to steal it back. Scoreless in the third with a minute and a half gone. I think she got away with an extra step there. Tunis drives, she'll put it up for two. Can't get that one to roll in. And Lehigh can't save it. Zelvelin scales. Blue Jays clear the press. Enderlider pass into scales down low. Can't get that one to fall. Too sick. Got the rebound. Now Lady J is working. Tunis gets swatted by Scales. Such a clean swat, too. Right in front of the referee. No call on it. I could barely even hear her hit the ball. Hensley gives it to Lehigh. Dusik. Zimpleman, hands all over it. She'll save it somehow. That was an athletic play there by Zimpleman and now Finky working against Hensley. She'll lose it though. Ball's on the ground. And we're gonna wrap up with it. 
see what we get here. We're going to get jump a jump ball. ball. Judson will take it. Jump ball. Possession belongs to North Judson St. Pierre. Johnston brings it up. Hensley for three. That one's in. Lady Comets working quickly up court. Lady oh. J's there drawing first blood in the half. But Hinderleiter answers with her own. Hinderleiter's first score of the night there, Pete. Johnston shot up off the mark, scales with the rebound. He'll bring it down quickly. Pass down into Douglas, little shot fake. Gets Tunis to fly by. Great situational awareness there by Douglas to wait her turn and then take the shot when the lane was clear. Yeah, two of the Jays just flew by her. Lehigh goes up with a shot off the mark. Finky with the rebound. She's gonna dribble right into Lehigh as she brings her hand down and fouls Lehigh. First foul of the half there. Coming foul, number 12, Alexa Finke. Her first, team first to the corner. At the line, the way she is tying Lehigh with two shots. Lehigh used every surface inside that rim to uh, get that ball in. Ball took a nice roll before it fell. Two for two. Second one's a little bit cleaner. Lady J's backing off the press with half of the third quarter gone here. Lady J's absolutely winning the third quarter on the scoreboard so far. Scales gives it to Zeppelman. Zeppelman will get a strip by Lehigh. Douglas looked like she was going to set up for a charge, but just stood there. Lady J's have brought the Comets lead back down to 10. Lady Comets really need to work, work the offense here. Zimplin pass into Douglas, loses control. Finky, harsh. Douglas, harsh. Long pass to Finky. Scales is going to drive baseline to Zimplin to harsh. Harsh deep to airballed it. Lehigh is going to pull that one down. Hensley, shot fake. Now Johnston for three. Scales goes up for it, can't get it. Douglas will pull down the rebound though. She's gonna work against Lehigh. Well, Lehigh. blocking foul there called against Lehigh. That'll be her first, team first. Team first in the corner. Looking at top of six in for Lady Connors. Lady Comets to inbound. Lob it into Scales. Scales working against the double team. She'll drive baseline. Kick to Zimpleman. Harsh. It's the second time she's used that exact same play. Douglas working against Minix. Douglas drives, kicks. Thomas. Lady Comets just struggling to open up a lane against this Lady J's defense here in the third quarter. Scale spins. Zimpleman up top. Two pointer off the mark. Defense, 
Hensley another shot fake. Now Lehigh drives with an open lane. She just can't get that one far enough. Quick third quarter here as we only have a minute 30 left. And Garbison's going to put her hands on harsh to, to foul. Uh, her first team second here in the half. Very clean third quarter by both teams so far. With not a lot of time left. Uh, there's still plenty of time to rack up fouls now. Not with, uh, with how these offenses are moving the ball. Zimpleman drives, puts that one up for two. Great play there. Making something out of nothing, really. Minix, pass tip by Zimpleman. She's going to go out of bounds and uh, use a little bit of that red paint over there to uh, steal the ball back. Lady Jays will get the ball back. Yeah, you're not allowed to play in the extended court. Three-pointer off the mark. Hensley with the rebound. Now Johnston. Hensley for three. That one's just off the mark. Harsh with the rebound. Under a minute left here in the third. Henderleiter pass into Scales. Scales goes up with it. Looks like Minnick's got a hand on that. Great work by Scales to even get that one up and passes. Way too long for Johnston to get a hand on. Scales with 25 to go. Harsh to Hindelider. Down into Harsh. Minix gets a hand on it. Zimpleman's going to come across the body of Hensley. That'll be Zimpleman's first, team second. Lady J is probably going to look for the last shot of the quarter with only 12 to go. Hensley, Garbison, cross court to Johnston. Back to Hensley, Garbison, shot up, off the mark. Well, at the end of three, it's Caston 36, North Judson 24. We'll be back for fourth quarter action after these words from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Heading into this fourth quarter, Caston with a 36-24 advantage. Uh, third quarter, absolutely the lowest quarter, scoring quarter of the game. Uh, with North Judson winning the third quarter 7-6 to six in score on the board. That might be one of the Lady Comets' lowest scoring quarters of the year so far. I believe you're right. Props to the Lady Jays' defense there in that third quarter. Zumpelman for three. Shot off the mark. Finky almost comes down with it. Minix is going to draw it, though. Hensley puts an elbow into Scales as she drives coast to coast, and that'll be a foul down there. Scales making sure her nose isn't bleeding. Pete, who did they put that foul on? Did you see? Number 11. Isabel. That'll be her third. First free throw rolls in. <laughs> Foul should have been on 13 is what they're saying. That's Zimple Zimpleman's second. I kind of wondered about that. I was like, Isabel was clear back behind, making sure her nose Scales passed down into Henderleiter. That one's good. Fast pass play there by the Comets. I don't think she liked them putting that foul on her. She's playing really aggressive now. 
Douglas pulls that one down. She'll drive all the way. Can't get that one to fall. Zimmerman with the rebound, though. And that'll draw a foul. Foul there on number 52, Grace Minix. Her first, team first. And Kyler Lehigh checks back in for the Lady Jays. Scales gets the inbound. Harsh. Zimpleman. Douglas thinks about it. Drives baseline. She'll gets fouled on the shot. Foul there on number 30, McKinley Duschek. Her second, team second. Second free throw off the mark. The Lady Jays working quick here. Tunis spin move, loses control. The Lady Comet's gonna gain possession. Olivia Thomas and Macy Hinderleit are back in for the Comets. Pinky and Zimpleman will get breaks. Harsh will bring it up. Lob pass into Scales. Scales will still go up with it. Ball, loose ball. Dusik is going to come up with it. Give it to Hensley. She'll bring it down. Lady Comets really working now on defense. Loose ball. Douglas Good ties up with it. Jump ball. Lady Jays once again benefiting from the jump ball call. Zimpleman back in for the Comets. Hensley drives baseline. She'll put it up for two off the mark. Harsh with the rebound. She's getting triple teamed down there. Jump ball. Lady Comets will take it. It's one thing the Lady Blue Jays have been really good about is putting on lots of pressure after a uh, rebound. Now Douglas can't handle, or Thomas can't handle that pass. And Zeppelin's going to foul. Johnston as they're coming back down the court. Addison picking up her third foul. Team second. Hensley for three. Off the mark. Lehigh with the rebound. She's going to lose it out of bounds though. Lady Comets ball. You can't, you can't help but wonder if these Lady Comets are a little bit frustrated with the lack of offensive scoring here in the second half through turnovers and just some missed shots. Yeah, with a quarter and a third gone, they've only put nine points on the board. They put 15 on the board in the first and a further 15 in the second, so definitely a different change of pace. Zimpleman may have gotten away with a lane violation there. Pass swatted away, though. Douglas ties up with it. We're going to get a foul called here. That'll be Douglas' second. Team third. Oh, no. Excuse me. They put that on Kaylin Tunis. That'll be her second. Team third still. 
I was a little surprised Henderleiter didn't get called for a foul, though, going between the legs of Tunis. Zimpleman for three. Off the mark. Johnson bringing it down quick. She's going to get Henderleiter to foul her. That'll be Hinderleiter second, team third. Both teams making up for the lack of fouls in the third quarter by getting lots of fouls here quick in the fourth. Lehigh, Tunis for three. That one's off the mark. It's going to take a bounce off the top of the backboard and out of bounds. Thomas in, Hinderleiter gets a break for the Comets. A little bit of a full court press here by the Lady, Lady Blue Jays. Great passing by the Comets to break the press. Douglas, two pointer off the mark. She's gonna get a rebound though. Zimpleman, far side, harsh. Lady Comets really working the offense. Lady Jays really putting up a strong defense. Scales a drive, pivot, go up with it. Just a little long, couldn't get that one to fall. Lehigh, Hensley, Johnston. Lady Comets trapper in the corner. We're gonna get a timeout here by the Lady Blue Jays. And they'll use a full timeout, so we're going to step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comets just getting ready to break huddle. As we get the action back underway. 39-25, Lady Comets lead with 3.39 to go. Douglas almost gets a hand on that pass. Johnson, far corner, down into Lehigh. She'll pass it into Isabel Scales' hands. Scales takes it all the way herself. She'll draw a foul. Looks like she got hit in the nose again. She's determined to bleed from her nose here tonight. Foul there on number 10, Kylie oh, Lehigh, her second, team fourth. Next, North Judson foul will put the Lady Comets in the bonus. First shot up and in for Scales. And she'll go two for two. Gets a little bit of a shooter's roll on that second one. Hensley. Near side, cross court pass to Tor Tunis. Tunis gives it to Hensley. Lady Comets really trapping. Scales gets a hand on it, but Lady J's recover. Now she'll bat that one down. And she'll go up with it and off the mark. Zimpleman almost saves it. Scales almost saves it, but. She'll throw it just out of bounds. Kaya Burkett returns for the Lady Jays. Kaya Burkett back in for the Lady Blue Jays. Johnston brings it up, gives it to Tunis. Down into Lehigh. Dusik off the mark. Johnston puts it back up though off the mark. Lehigh gets the shot tipped. Tipped out of bounds by Olivia Thomas. Minix back in, 2.30 left on the clock. Long pass in. Burkett working, but Scales will get a hold of it.
Dales drives, kicks. Douglas goes up with it. Shot tipped. She'll look to grab her own rebound, but lose it out of bounds. One thing I've noticed tonight, at least, that Maddie Douglas really hasn't been taking any outside shots. Yeah, she's, she's taken a couple of threes they didn't drop for her, and she's abandoned them for the rest of the evening. I've just noticed she's had a couple of pretty open looks that she just didn't take. Minix, now Johnson, shot well short. Harsh will bring it up with less than two to go in the fourth. Zimpleman, far side, Douglas top of the key. Lady Commons moving the ball quick. Ninety seconds left to play here tonight. Douglas. Jump shot off the mark. Burkett shot off the mark. Douglas is going to tie up with it though and remain North Judson ball. And we've got North Judson's Ky uh, Callie Sutter and Grace Craig coming in. As well as well as Mariah Lowe. Sutter gives it to Burkett. Cross court pass to Garbison. Back to Burkett. Burkett long two. Shot just off the mark. Harsh with the rebound. Minutes go. Lady Commons bring it up quick. Scales will pull it out. Drive baseline. Pull it out again. Get trapped. Cross court pass to Zimpleman. Zimpleman puts that one up for a mid range two. Pass down into the post. Doesn't quite get handled. Now scales will bring it, bring it down. Oh, man! Comments will use a 30-second timeout. I think primarily that's just for just bringing line inside. change. Reidenbach, Hutzel, and Wright enter for the Comets with 21 seconds left on the clock. Lady Comets going to probably look for just holding the ball out here to end the game. 10 to go. And your final here tonight, Lady Comets 43, Lady Blue Jays 25. We'll be back here after a few words from our sponsors with a post-game wrap-up and uh, an interview with casting coach Josh Douglas. This has been Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC TV4.